it is not mentioned in the suttas that you can teach children to sing, but it is also not mentioned in the suttas that you cannot teach children to sing. So, it is better to teach children to sing good songs, huh? otherwise they will go and learn bad songs. Or you must tell the parent, you are not teaching your son or your daughter to become a monk or a nun. <laughs> you are not teaching your son or daughter to become a good Buddhist lay person. Huh? Uh, only for a monk or a nun, huh? you cannot sing huh? and dance. Huh? <laughs> but for a lay person, is nothing wrong. Huh? We must not be too extreme, uh, like some religions. Certain things uh, like worldly enjoyment uh, for lay people. Uh, Buddha did not say uh, lay people cannot enjoy. The Buddha said uh, you can enjoy, but enjoy in a wise way. Uh, you enjoy not to the extent of harming others or harming yourself. It's okay. Secondly, when you enjoy, be careful not to get attached. Because in the suttas, the Buddha said, uh, worldly happiness, uh, once you enjoy it, uh, there is a tendency to become attached to it. Very strong tendency to become attached to it. For example, liquor. I start consuming liquor, uh, feeling high, uh, very nice feeling. Uh, tomorrow night, that's what I want to drink. Right? Uh, also, if you start to drink liquor already, uh, all your in- inhibitions drop away. Uh, Things you dare not say, uh, you dare to say when you drink liquor. <laughs> Things you dare not do, uh, you dare to do when you drink liquor. Yeah? Uh, so it's very nice. Ma. Uh, but then uh, to be very careful, you get carried away usually. You have to be very careful because the standard for monks and nuns uh, is very different from the standard for lay people. Only when you understand the Dhamma enough, uh, then you will naturally uh, uh, steer away from worldly happiness la, because you find uh, it's in the end uh, it's not really satisfying la. it only gives you short term pleasure short term pleasure whereas there's a ni- another type of happiness uh, which is deep inside la. you walk the spiritual path and you lead your life uh, so that it benefits others uh, then uh, at the end of your life uh, even you don't have to wait for the end of your life, uh, even when you are walking the spiritual path, uh, you find because you lead a life that benefits others uh, and you will be very happy inside, you know you are leading a very useful life. Not You are not leading the, your life uh, only for yourself, you are living your life uh, for others. What's the point of living our life uh, just for ourselves? Uh, we enjoy, 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 at the end of it you find uh, all your blessings used up, yeah. Uh, and then also in that process, uh, very often uh, people who only think of themselves, uh, they harm others, uh, they cheat others, and all that. As if you live your life for others, uh, even though you may not be so happy, like Mother Teresa, I think I'm sure she has a lot of inside happiness and satisfaction, uh, even though uh, she was in India, uh, living a very hard life. Uh, you can see it in her face, a lot of lines. <laughs> but then uh, it's a satisfying life.